Hey, welcome to Story Time with Mr. Nathan. I'm Mr. Nathan. I am so happy to see you today. And did you know, since we're in the month of July, July is Disability Pride Month. So what do you think that means? Yeah, those are some great answers. So disability pride to Mr. Nathan means that you are proud of yourself. Uh, let's see, I'm having, Mr. Nathan's having some technical difficulties. So hold on one second. second and thank you for joining here we go that's what it is all right so disability pride to mr nathan means that you are proud of yourself and that you are proud of every part of you even the parts that other people may think are a little bit different and sometimes they don't understand and i'm so happy today that we are going to read a book about dr temple grandin and how she thinks very differently than a lot of people but that means she's really good at uh what she does and you know what? There's probably something that you're really good at what you do and who you are. And so I hope by reading this story, you can see part of that for yourself. So let me go ahead and get it loaded for us, and then we will get started. All right. And as it gets loaded, I just want to remind you that here, here's what's going to happen. We're going to read the story. Then I'm going to talk about something you can do with your adults at home based on what we read. And it's a great activity for you to think like Dr. Temple Grandin today. I bet you're going to like it. Uh, I know when Mr. Nathan looked at it, he was really excited to do it. So we're going to give you that activity and then we're going to sing a song so when it uh gets loaded let's do me a favor and you know get in your favorite spot so that you are ready to read and ready to help me figure out this story because i'm going to need your help at different parts of the story i'm probably going to ask you some questions and then we're going to have a conversation about what we read. Let's see, it's taking it a little bit to load. So we just got to practice our patience. You know, sometimes things take a little time. There we go. All right, let Mr. Nathan make sure everything is ready to go. I think that. I'll be out of the way of the picture for us and we can get started. So as you see, we're reading The Girl Who Thought in Pictures, the story of Dr. Temple Grandin. Oh man, what animals are those? Do you know? I knew you would. You're right, they're cows. I wonder what that's going to have to do with the story. I bet it's got something to do with the story. I don't think they would show us a picture if it didn't. Oh, man, look, there's another cow. It's giving us clues. What do you think we're going to read about when we talk about Dr. Grandin? Huh? Yeah, probably some cows. You're right. All right. In the city of Boston, one hot summer day, a sweet baby was born. It was Temple. Hooray! <laughs> She's waving at us. Hey, Temple. 
unique from the start, an unusual girl. She loves spinning in circles and watching things twirl. Yeah, do you ever use a spinner top? Or do you ever twirl around in a circle? You know, sometimes that can be fun. When Mr. Nathan tries to do it, sometimes he loses his balance, but it still can be fun. All right, let's keep reading. But some things she hated, like certain loud sounds or bright, crowded places, large cities and towns. Oh, what is she doing? You're right. She's covering her ears. What else might cover your ears? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Some earmuffs. Or maybe you have a friend that when you see them, they have trouble with loud, crowded places. And they use something like this. Here, Mr. Nathan's going to show us. All right, yeah, can you see that? They use headphones so that it's not quite so loud. You're right. Because sometimes you might wonder, why is that person wearing headphones? And sometimes it's just because things are too loud. All right, let's keep going. Oh, frilly dresses with tags made her itch, pull, and tug. Something else she hated, a big squeezy hug. That's so important. Do you ever have times when somebody tries to hug you that you don't necessarily like a hug? Yep, sometimes the people don't like that. And you know, sometimes things you can see. Yeah, you're right. She's scratching the back of her neck because of that tag on her dress there. It made her itch, right? And that's what we do when we itch, right? We scratch. All right, let's see what else happened for Temple. Oh, my goodness. What is going on there? What she got on the ground over there? You're right. She's got a flipped over car, and I can't tell exactly what everything else is, but <laughs> you're right. She looks like she's yelling. I wonder what's happening. Oh, remember when we read about feelings? Look, she's stomping her, her feet. What do, you, what do you think she's experiencing right now? What, what feeling might she be feeling? Oh, that's a good guess. Let's find out if you're right. A shy loner, this temple, but when she got mad, when her feelings of stress and frustration got bad, quite a tantrum she, she'd throw. Oh, she'd kick, holler, bang, shriek. Yet still, by age three, not a word she would speak. Oh, man, didn't we learn about that before in another book? We did. I think it was when we read about Down syndrome. That not everybody speaks at the same time, right? Yeah. It just makes us a little bit different. So let's see. Let's see if she learns to speak. Oh, man. She's at the doctor's office. Because can you see that? Have you ever had the doctor come up with? It's called a stethoscope. You see it on the, the desk there. So they're visiting the doctor. And so they're talking to the doctor. And the doctor said, she'll never be normal was what some did say. Her brain's not quite right. You must send her away. Away, not my temple, her mother proclaimed. We will figure this out. You should all be ashamed. 
So they want to send her away. And how would that make us feel if somebody sent us away? You know, Mr. Nathan would be quite sad if somebody said that I needed to go away just because I was wearing a duck shirt, huh? So hopefully we'll figure out what happens, but let's keep reading. Oh, and there we see Temple at the doctor. And she is trying to figure out those balls on the the string there and what they're doing. And who knows, maybe they're making a loud noise and that's what she doesn't like about it, huh? Maybe. Let's keep reading. Then, little by little, uh, though sometimes she balked, special teachers helped Temple. And one day, she talked. All right. Let's talk about this word here, because it's a big word when it said she balked. You know what? Sometimes that means she would try to do it, but she wasn't quite sure she could, so she didn't, right? Have you ever had times when, when that's happened for you? Maybe you've tried something new, and you just weren't quite sure, so you would try it, and then you would stop. Well, guess what? Even though she did, after all the stopping, she would come back and she would try again. And look, so now we know that she learned to talk. And that thing with her brain, remember they said it was different. It was autism, see? She was different, not less. They all finally agreed. And isn't that important? You can be different. And it doesn't make you any less important than anybody else. So that's an important message that they learned here. So, oh, look, and we've got another cow. And that one's a little bit different. All the other ones have been what color? Yeah, we've seen brown ones and we've seen black ones. And now this one is, oh, yeah, it's black and white. All right. Like most kids her age, she loved ice cream and art. But the way Temple thought, that's what set her apart. If something was mentioned, for instance, a fly, in her mind, she'd see a dozen photos buzz by. Oh, man. So let's look at that. So look, somebody talked about that fly. And look at all the things that Temple sees. She sees the wing. Yep. Oh, man. Look at the top there. She sees the big eyes. And she sees where it lands. Look at all that. Can you imagine seeing all those photos pop up when you were thinking? And maybe you do. Do you think like Temple? All right, by the end of this, we're going to see what you think about, and you're going to think like Temple to see what it's like. When time came for school, let's just say it was hard. Kids taunted and chased her all over the yard. They picked on poor Temple, how crazy it drove her. They teased her for saying things over and over. Oh, that doesn't feel very good, huh? When people point at you like that. And look, you guys can't see it because it cut off on the screen, but it says they're all pointing and look, oh my goodness, what did they do? Oh, you're right. They threw something at her. They threw a piece of paper at her and it said, look at her. That's what it says at the bottom. Look at her. So let's see. I think we're going to see a picture of Temple here. Over and over. So she's sitting all by herself. And they're just pointing and throwing a piece of paper at her. And she's reading her book. Let's see what happens. Until finally she snapped. Yes, she did. Lost her cool. Threw a book at a kid. And was kicked out of school. 
No one really got Temple. But, well, then again, the truth of it is, uh, was Temple didn't get them. Remember, Mr. Nathan at the beginning talked about people understanding each other? And sometimes that happens. And you know what? That's why we read about our feelings so much on story time. Because sometimes we do get mad. And we do not know what to do. And we end up doing things like Temple. And we throw a book because we're so mad. And so let's keep reading. Because I think she's going to figure something out here in the next couple pages. But hey, if you've ever felt that way, know that it's okay to have those feelings. We might not want to throw a book at other kids, but it's okay to feel that way. You need time away, said her mom. That's what's best. You'll go visit your aunt on the ranch way out west. All right, so she's going to visit her aunt. And she's going to the other side of the country. You know what? It's summertime. Do you ever go on vacation and visit somebody in your family that may live in a different part of the country? Or maybe they don't live that far away, but you go and spend time with them. You know, Mr. Nathan did that when he was little. And he would go out on a farm and be with his uncle and see all the animals. So let's see what Temple finds when she goes out west. Uh, let's see, it cut it off a little bit there. Guess what? Fitting in on the farm was less stress since the pigs didn't care if her hair was a mess. Oh yeah. They're like, get down in the mud with us, Temple, and, and play with us. All right, let's see what else she learns. Quite a sweet spot she had for the cows in their herd. Such big, gentle beast who knew nothing of words. As she watched her new friends, a thought popped in her head. These cows think like me in pictures instead. All right, look at that. Yeah, you're right. Both the cow and temple are thinking the same thing. And they're like, oh my goodness, how do I get out of this rain and wind? Temple's, look, isn't that cool? So temple is thinking about, what. what is temple thinking about there? You see it? It's got, they're holding it up. Yeah, you're right. The umbrella. And then what is the cow thinking about? It's thinking about getting under the tree. All right. So look at that. They both think in pictures. So they're not alone. Let's keep reading and see what happens. At a new school that fall, Temple found more support and a teacher who taught her, you'll never fall short. When you find what you're good at, like science, you'll soar. And that teacher was right. He had opened a door. What's she making there? Oh, you're right. It's a rocket. And it's going to blast off, I bet. And it's going to soar like they talked about. Because, you know, that means to fly. What else soars? Do you know anything else that soars? You know, sometimes they have wings. Things that soar have wings. Yeah, birds soar all the time. And maybe even, do you like to use a kite? If you fly a kite, I bet we could say those kites are soaring when they're flying in the wind. All right, let's keep reading. So she built a machine like she's seen on some farms, an invention that hugged her with boards and not arms. Oh, yeah, because she talked about she didn't like the squeezy feeling of hugs. 
but she found a way to get a hug that wasn't by squeezing. It worked. She'd done it from memory, it's true. And just like the cows, it made Temple calm too. All right. She had found a way to help her calm down when she was stressed, and she knew that it would help the cows too. That's awesome. Let's keep reading. I'm special, she thought, like a bright shooting star. My attention to detail could help me go far. All right, it's our cow, friends. And look, she's developed a way to help them move around so that they don't get stuck all together so they have space. All right, let's keep reading. Through her study, she learned there were farms not so kind. I'll help them, she said. Some solutions she'd find. All right, so she's trying to help the farms and the cows. And let's see what she does. And then something cool. Can you guess? Could it be? Off to college she went. A degree? Nope. She earned three. Can we count to three? One, two, three. All right, great job. And no ladies uh, weren't an experts on farms at the time. Do you think that stopped Temple? No way. She did fine. She stepped through that door and went forward. No tears. Oh, so remember last time she walked out of the door? She was upset. It was when she threw the book at the kid. But now she has no tears. She took on the world. But at times she had fears. Oh, yeah, because sometimes even adults get scared. Yeah. Have you been scared? Yeah. Mr. Nathan gets scared, too. Let's see what she does. Because some things were scary, like people she'd meet who'd ignore her ideas and, well, wouldn't be sweet. Because sometimes people don't get along. Isn't that true? All right, let's keep going. But she never gave up. She learned her stuff through and through. Like why cattle will circle. And what makes them say, what does a cow say? Moo. <laughs> that was a good one. I like that. You did a good job with that. To build better farms was her goal. She would do it. Be kind to our creatures. They have feelings. She knew it. And there we see her designing her farm and look again she's helping them move around it and slowly but surely she changed many minds until farm after farm built her awesome designs oh look she's on the farm and you can see the thing that she helped make the cattle move to get to their new uh, place on the farm Word spread about Temple, her feet's not so small. Temple Grandin, she's grand. She's the grandest of them all. Now for these things and more, she won honors and prizes. And a movie was made. But the biggest surprise is that that girl with the future that couldn't be bleaker so what does that mean? It means, remember when she was back in that little girl and we were talking about why she used the headphones and why she was going away? That girl, it didn't look so good. Yes, the one once silent girl, she is now a speaker. Oh, wow, imagine that. She started and she couldn't talk for a long time and now, she talks to people all over the world. 
that's pretty amazing, right? And it takes us back to what did she say? She never gave up on what she wanted to do. She always tried. And even when she thought, ah, I don't know if this is for me, she kept trying before she quit. And now she can speak all over the world. So you can do that too. You can find something that you like to do and you can keep trying and keep trying. And if you don't know how to do it yet, that's okay. You just got to keep trying if you want to do it. And hey, we'll, we'll see where we get at the end of the day. I don't know if you want to be a speaker, but uh, we'll find out when we do the activity. I'll ask you some questions, okay? Today, she spreads hope with her stories and speeches from New York to Sydney to Rome. Temple teaches. Each person is special. So unique are our minds. This world needs your ideas. It takes brains of all kinds. Yeah, the world needs you and what you think about and what you like to do. It needs you. All right, let's read this note. This is from Temple herself. As a child, I was really glad that my mother always encouraged my ability in art. I encourage you to find something you are good at and work on developing it. So that means to develop it means to keep practicing it so that you get better and better. If you're interested in becoming a scientist like me, Find cool new ways to look at things such as microscopes and telescopes. Explore nature. All right, so spend some time outside and look at all the things around. Um, and think up your own hands-on science experiments. Keep learning, especially from your mistakes. Temple Grandin. What a cool note. All right, so that's our book for today. So now let me uh, stop sharing and then I'll pull up our activity. And so adults, if you want to get a copy of this activity that we are about to talk about, just send me an email and uh, I'll put the email in the comments if you're coming back and, and watching this at a later date. Uh, and you can just email and I'll send you a copy right over. All right, so we want to go to. This one, I think. All right, yeah, there we go. So. As we remember, Temple like to think about things in pictures. Right. So what I want you to do is I want you to imagine that that picture is a picture of you and maybe you can even take it and practice your cutting with your adult, with your scissors, and you can find a picture of you and you can put it where Temple's face is right now. That would be such a cool idea. If you just took it, cut out, and put your own picture there, and then what does it say? It says, I like to think about. So what Mr. Nathan wants you to do is think about our story and think about how Temple used everything in pictures. And Mr. Nathan wants you to spend time with your adult talking about the things that you think about and maybe use this to draw a couple of them out. Does that sound like something you can do? I know that you can do it. So if you want to do it, make sure that your adult uh, reaches out to Mr. Nathan so that you can get the activity from me. But I really want to see what it is that you think about because that's what makes you special. That's what makes you you, just like Temple in the way that she uh thought about the fly and the way she thought about the farm and how the cows move and so only you think like you and that's what makes you so special so that's going to be our activity 
And then let me quit sharing this. All right, now we're going to switch to our very last thing for today's story time, and it's a song. So I want you to get ready, and if you want to sing along, you can. If you don't, you don't have to, but get in a spot where if you want to move, you can move if you want to so that you're not hitting anybody around you, but you can move your arms and you can dance around. So let me pull up our song for today. All right, let me make sure, share our sound. Here we go. All right, and let me make this a um, full screen. Let's see here, why is it not working? Think, think, think. Think, think, think. Think, think, think. I've got to think, 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 think. What do I want to do today? What do I want to be someday? All these decisions I have to make But I can do it, yeah And this is how I have to Think, think, think Think, think, think Think, 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 think. I've got to Think, 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 think. I need to solve problems every day. Figure out what's right and wrong. I need to come up with something to say. Maybe even write a song for you today So I've got to Think, think, think Think, think, think Think, 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 think. I've got to Think, 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 think Think, think, think Think, think, think Think, 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 I've got to Think, 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 think All right, let's think about it All right, and he had to think about it just like we saw Temple think about it today and she solved problems. Did you see those, those math problems they had up there? They were using their numbers. They said one plus one, two plus two. And so I want you to know that if you ever feel different, you are not alone. And if you feel different, it doesn't make you any less than anybody else because what you think about makes you important and makes you the person that you need to be here today. So with that, I will see you for our next story time. And remember, today is a great day to smile. <laughs>